This is the mission director. Go for launch. And excellent news. All systems are go for launch of Falcon Heavy with USSF 67. Here we go. events coming up here just under a minute away that will be Biko. that's where the booster the side boosters engines will shut down the center core will push those side boosters away from the vehicle then those two side boosters can begin to make their way back down to earth with their boost back burns and on your right hand screen you can yeah. see the views from each of those side boosters. All right, folks, that looks like we have booster separation. We just had our side booster separation. They'll be landing back here at the Space Force really Station here in just a few here. moments. Again, we will have Biko. Oh, wow. Side wow. booster, boost back burn, followed by main engine cutoff of the center core here in just a few seconds. <laughs> side booster separation. Core booster startup. Incredible views. We just had Biko and separation of the side boosters, and you can see on your left hand screen that the side boosters have lit back up. They are now in their boost back burn, making their way back yeah, down to know. Earth. Oh, that's so cool. Those side boosters are returning to Florida under the power of three engines. That's three of the nine M1D engines. Next up will be the conclusion. Next up will be the conclusion of those side booster boost back burns, followed by Miko on the center core, as well as stage separation of the center core and the second stage, and then SES one or second stage engine start yep, one. Right now, as I mentioned previously, per the request of our customer, we won't be showing second stage views after SES one. Additionally, our center core if you look up between the clouds, you can see those two second so stage boosters to starting to head back to Earth. That vehicle, but we should have some great views like we are seeing right Five now. Four, boost back, shut down. Should have some great views of those side boosters touching down for landing. We go. Stage separation confirmed. And back start. Mm -hmm. And X 
excellent views. We had the stage one FTS to say has saved. We did have the shutdown of the boostback burn. We did have the shutdown of the boostback burns on the side boosters as well as Miko on that center core and stage separation. We are waiting for confirmation of a call out of the fairing separation. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, you'll see the two side boosters just to the right edge of the orange cloud. Oh, that's so awesome. Currently, stage two is still making its way to its targeted drop off orbit while the boost, the side boosters are making their way back down to land. There they are. And these side boosters have another burn coming up. That will be the entry burn. That will be three of nine and when the engines reigniting. That helps to slow the boosters down in preparation for as they re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got some views here from those side boosters there on your screen. Now at the time of separation, the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way back to land to our side-by-side -side landing pads. If we have successful landings today, we'll mark the 163rd and 164th landing of an orbital class rocket. As I mentioned earlier, the center core, it will be expendable and we are not attempting to recover it today. All right, folks, we'll see that last burn coming up in just a moment. Start right, looking over right, towards the vehicle assembly building. That and area there you can see on your the screen, AD. the engine we'll burns come down and the side boosters have begun. They're just about 12 seconds long. But UI FTS has saved and NY FTS has saved. And the entry burns for both side boosters have now concluded. Now next oh, will be the final burn for each of these side boosters. That is the landing burn. It is just a single engine burn, the 789 engine. Each one of these M1D engines has about 190,000 pounds of thrust. So that is enough to slow the vehicle down just in time for landing. And you can see the coast of Florida in the background. Now that landing burn coming up here in just about 20 seconds or so. Landing burn will last about 20 seconds long. Again, we are scheduled to land on landing zone one and landing zone two. And there are those landing burns have begun on the side boosters, so let's watch as they touch down.